to seven. Parental leave is a hot topic leading up to this year's election, with both Labor and National proposing changes to the system. But now a new report is suggesting that despite these promises, we're still falling short. To explain, we're joined by Crown's Chief Executive Stephanie Powell. Um, Stephanie, so good to have you back on the show. Tell me about this report and what were the insights from it? Thanks for having me back, Jenny May. So we built the New Zealand Parental Leave Register. It has 226 employers' parental leave policies, and collectively they employ over half a million Kiwis. So it's one in every six employees in the country. What we found is that nine out of 10 of them offer paid primary care leave and paid partner leave above statutory entitlements. And they're also looking at parental leave more holistically. They're making contributions to Good. KiwiSaver. Yeah. You know, they are really thinking about that return to work transition and how they can help employees come back, whether that's through flexible working, a graduated return, um, extra leave, because sick kids are sick quite a lot in those early years. So employers are becoming more thoughtful around how they support employees before, during and after. Sounds good. In terms of how we sit with the rest of the world, how, how are we doing? At a government level, yeah. or uh, we are in the bottom quartile for paid primary care leave mm -hmm. compared to other developed countries. We are one of three developed countries with no paid partner leave whatsoever. So really, we're lagging behind. Mm. So we know that both National and Labor uh, announced their policies just recently. Uh, Labor adding four weeks of paid leave for the other parent. Uh, National's proposal was, you know, the six months that we already give to the to the primary parent, then that should be split between the two. However, however, you as parents decide to take that leave, is you know, is that good enough? I think it's a step in the right direction, yeah. but it's certainly far from sufficient. So we know in New Zealand that 70% of Kiwi mums end up going back to work before they want to because of financial constraints a lot of the times. And also that on average, fathers want to take three months of parental leave and they're getting one to two weeks. So even with the current proposals, it won't get us there. And it's also paid at less than full-time minimum wage, which is tough for yeah. a lot of families, especially right now. Mm. Can I come back to this um, report um, around uh, every employer on the register has explicit conditions employees need to meet in order to access parental leave benefits. How are we going there according to this report? So it's interesting to see that uh, six out of ten employers on their register require employees to be permanent in order to access those benefits and also that often there are uh, length of service requirements. Usually it's around 6 to 12 months but sometimes we see it up to 24 months and so it's probably more geared towards people in really stable jobs so it could be hard if you're perhaps in an industry that's more casual or contracting mm, etc. Mm. Can we talk about equality and whether there's uh, any companies that are on this register 200 and something and whether there's anybody leading in that space. What really surprised us is that actually a quarter of the employers on the register offer equal paid parental leave. So it's the same benefits regardless of whether you're the primary carer or the partner. Mm -hmm. And it's really taking the lead of overseas countries, particularly the Nordics, where they're pushing for more equally shared parenting. Mm. Can we be better at this? When we think about the first thousand days, we know that there's research around about the first thousand days of a child's life and how impactful we can be as adults, as parents on that child's life. Can we be better? I think I think we can be, you know. Mm. We know that a lot of parents just aren't getting the time that they yeah. want with their kids. And, you know, I hold no judgment about how long you want to take on parental leave, whether it's one week, one year, or becoming a full-time <laughs> parent. But we know that people aren't getting their preference. And, you know, and as you mentioned, it's so important for folks to be able to spend that time with their kids during those first thousand days, because all the research shows that it has almost a disproportionate impact yeah. on lifelong outcomes. Mm. Stephanie, so good to have you back um, on the program again. Thank you for your time this morning. Stephanie Powell, Chief Executive of Crayon. Thank you. Thank you very much for having me.